Christmas Eve 1917 in the Irish Sea. The weather was grim and seas were heavy. The HMS Penshurst, a Q ship disguised as a cargo ship, under the command of Captain Naylor began evasive manoeuvres, zigzagging quickly from port to starboard. The submarine E-110 with its commander Albert Kroll on his first mission finally got the Penshurst in its sights. It fired a torpedo from 300 yards. It struck on the port side. The engine room and boilers exploded and the ship stopped dead. Badly damaged, the Penshurst's fate was sealed as the ship began to settle by the stern. The U-110 slowly circled until only 250 yards away and then fired with her aft gun. After two shots, Naylor gave the order to return fire. Six shots were fired, hitting the U-boat's conning tower. It submerged and was then last seen five miles off the starboard beam. By late afternoon and in failing light, the rescue ships arrived on the scene. Desperate to save the stricken vessel, both Turks attempt to attach a line, but before they could do so, the funnel collapsed over the port side. The ship lurched to starboard and slowly sank into the black waters below. Remarkably, almost all the crew were saved, but for two crewmen who drowned in the attack. Q ships were superseded by convoys and destroyer groups, which turned the tide against the U-boats. Since then, like so many sunk during the First World War, Penshurst has rested silently on the seabed, mutely testifying to the suffering and sacrifice of her remarkable crew.